Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I bring you a Luffy home screen setup. If you've been following the series so far, you know that I normally only bring you one live wallpaper per week. But this time round, I bring you two vibrant Luffys. I just couldn't pick my favorite between the two. But saying that, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Which is your favorite Luffy? Let me know in the comment section below. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And let me know in the comment section below if you have any video requests or suggestions. So let's take this blank stock home screen and turn it into this. So the first thing you want to do is head to the Play Store and install Nova Launcher and its pro version Nova Launcher Prime. And next, for our widgets, we're going to install KWGT and the Pro Key version. Next, just simply follow the on-screen instructions from Nova Launcher and then just remove any unwanted icons from your screen until you have something that looks like this. Let's complete the home screen cleanup by removing the notification bar. It's as simple as heading into the Nova Launcher settings, look and feel, and then disabling show notification bar. This is going to give you a nice clean canvas to work with. Now let's head back to the Play Store and install the icon pack Revolution. After which, just head back to the Nova Launcher settings, look and feel, click on icon styles and then change the icon theme. And to go with the curves of the icon pack, we're going to add a backdrop that also matches the colors of Luffy's iconic jacket. So simply head back into the Nova settings, home screen, dock and click on dock background. Now simply enable it and head into custom shape. Here you'll be able to mold the background to the shape that you like. For this setup, I've chosen to round off the right hand corners to match the docked icons and have squared off the left, making it really stand out from the background. Next you want to change the color to something more suitable. The code for the red that I've chosen to use is on screen now. And as a final note, I've chosen to set transparency to 14%. Next, let's talk about the custom live wallpapers. Like I said at the start of the video, I couldn't decide between the two. So I thought, why not just bring you both and let you guys decide which one you want to use. These as well as so many more, you're going to be able to grab from my own custom collection app. But bear in mind, this is a beta version and I'm still working out a few kinks. Just simply navigate to the live video section and select one of the live wallpapers for your home screen. The links for this and all other apps that I'm using in this video are going to be in the description below, so check them out. Now let's move on to our KWGT widget. Simply head back to the Play Store and install the KWGT pack Miniism. I have to say, this is becoming one of my most favorite KWGT packs to use. Just simply place a KWGT widget to your home screen, tap on it to open the widget maker, head into the Miniism pack, and then simply load in the preset widget number 124. And as you guessed it, the changes we're going to make are going to be quite minor. So let's start by increasing the overall size of the widget. Just simply tap on the item stacked group, head into layout, and then adjust the scale up or down. Next, just head back to the item section, long press on morphing text and drag up. And to make sure everything stays centered in this new layout, let's head into layer and change stacking to vertical center. And finally, let's head into the text elements for the widget, that's the day of the week and the date itself, and change them to black. And don't forget to hit save before you leave. Next all that's left is to reposition, resize and rescale the widget. Now the final piece of this home screen setup, the camera ring battery indicator. This is provided by one of my favorite apps, Energy Ring. Just simply enable the app using the toggle in the top right corner and make sure you enable the Energy Ring service within your accessibility settings as I'm indicating here. Now that you have the setup out of the way, feel free to play around with the app's settings until you find something that you like. But if you want more customization, there's also a pro version you can unlock. Also bear in mind, the developer has made multiple versions of the app for different phone models, so make sure you grab the right one for you from the Play Store. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And if you have any themed suggestions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.